Kia ora, I'm Melanie Tavendale, Deputy Mayor for Waitaki. In previous videos we've covered off what our three water services are like at the moment. We've talked about the new legislation being brought in, the new higher standards that may result from that, and how they may require us to upgrade our services further. One of the most obvious concerns that stems from all these changes is our ability to pay. Currently, if you're on a council water scheme, you'll be paying anywhere from $416 to $824 per annum, depending on the scheme. Some of our lowest cost schemes are smaller ones which haven't had their drinking water upgrades done yet, and that is reflected in their cost. If you are on a council wastewater scheme, these costs range hugely, from $187 through to $1,097 per annum. This wide range reflects the size of the scheme and the complexity of treating wastewater to comply with current standards. The stormwater is a relatively small amount extra, which reflects the lack of a complex stormwater scheme that we currently have in our community, and the lack of any treatment of that water. The Government, in looking at the standards, has provided all councils with a set of numbers which they are using to prove that the case for change is needed and that change is to aggregate water supplies into four large entities covering the country. The Government commissioned the Water Infrastructure Commission of Scotland, otherwise known as WICS, to come up with estimates for each council on what the cost would be to carry out the necessary upgrades, firstly looking at the councils carrying out the work themselves, and secondly if there were four large entities set up to carry out the work. The WICS report estimates that for councils across New Zealand to do this work, it would cost between $120 and $185 billion. In our case here in Waitaki, they're saying we need to spend $1.5 billion over the next 30 years to meet the required standards, which equates to $50 million per year needing to be spent on water. Incidentally, that's very close to what our council currently spends for all the services we provide each year. Breaking that down to a household level, Wicks have said that this will mean a major increase in rates for water, going from the average household cost of around $700 to $800 for water and wastewater each year to an average of over $13,000 in 30 years, and that's in today's dollars. Obviously that is unaffordable for our district. The government says that if most of the councils in the South Island put their assets into the new entity, that costs in 30 years would instead be around $1,640 due to the efficiencies gained through amalgamation. Frankly, the Wix costs are based on a number of assumptions, and we don't agree with a large number of those assumptions. Our review of the numbers indicates the actual cost is much lower. Working on improving standards to a level that is more practical for the New Zealand context, that number is less than a quarter of what's predicted. However, that would still be a significant increase, so something does need to change. But the question remains, is the new entity system the best solution for communities like Waitaki? What are the levels of service that we need in New Zealand to ensure our communities have access to good clean drinking water and that wastewater and stormwater are treated properly so they don't harm the environment? We are giving the government feedback that the assumed increase in services are good in a general sense, but are unnecessarily high and costly for our New Zealand context. For example, should the new standards really require the removal of septic tanks and instead connecting a lot of our rural community to wastewater treatment plants? We definitely have communities where this would be ideal, such as in Hamden and Duntroon, but does that need to extend to almost all farms across Waitaki? So that's the challenge we face at the moment. There are still some significant questions which we don't have answers to and we're working hard to get these answers so that we can have a proper conversation with our community very soon. Thanks for watching this video and please take the time to watch all 10 videos in this series to learn a little bit more about the Three Waters reform and what it means for Waitaki.